How's it going guys, it's your Deep here, and today I'm bringing you episode number two of my Mikkel Pedersen Be A Pro. And uh, first off, I'd like to thank you for the support on the uh, first episode. You guys really seem to enjoy that backstory. Uh, I kind of put a lot of time into that episode, so I'm glad that it paid off. And uh, in this second episode, we'll be going through the Memorial Cup. As you can see, we are in we are in the Shawinigan Cataracts for the uh, the hosts of the tournament. And to start off, since my player is technically should be a good player, since he led the league and uh, led the SM League on scoring, I decided to give him plus nine rush accuracy, plus nine rush power, plus eight aggressiveness, plus five fighting skill, plus five hand eye, plus five durability. And then plus five deking, uh, just so we can improve his stats a little. And in the first game, uh, the game everyone's talking about, because in this game we have Mikael Pedersen, one of the top prospects uh, in the upcoming draft, and he'll be facing off against Alexi Vigno and the Oil Kings. Now, who is Alexi Vigno, you might ask? Well, he's a Finnish uh, player, sniper, who is also entering the draft a little late and uh, he and Pedersen are basically predicted to go one and two uh, overall no one knows the order yet there you can see Alexi Vaino the center for uh, the Oil Kings and uh, for players to watch it's Vaino versus Pedersen both 93 something seems fishy here so anyways let's take a look at the intro Fans are roaring here in Center Bionest in Shawinigan, Quebec. The Cataracts vs. the Oil Kings. Full crowd on hand here for this opening game of the Memorial Cup. It's Mikael Pedersen and his Shawinigan Cataracts vs. Alexi Vagno and his Edmonton Oil Kings. And to start off the game, look at this. Right off the face off and take a look at Alexi Vagno. Boy, does he look similar. Uh, it's basically like looking into a Miller. Looking into a mirror and so maybe some of you guys are starting to catch on but this is odd this is a this has thrown Mikael Pedersen off the game he's looking at basically his reflection himself and he doesn't know what to think about it and to start off a terrible back check by Mikael Pedersen and be Corbett scoring a goal since Mikael, Mikael Pedersen hasn't been doing much this game he decides to pump up the, his team and get the best player off the other team and look who he drops the gloves against. It's Alexi Vigno. And this would actually be a pretty good fight. It goes both ways. Both players throwing punches. And it comes down to the end. Punches thrown. And finally, Alexi Vigno is able to. I mean, Mikael Pedersen is able to knock out Alexi Vigno. And just take a look at this comparison. Boy, wow. It's almost like the exact same player, Alexi Vigno and Mikko Pedersen. And uh, this has got Mikko Pedersen thinking. Uh, leaves his man open there. Certainly a terrible game for Mikko Pedersen. An empty net goal will make it 3 nothing, And that's how the game would finish. The opening game, Alexi Vigno is the third star with two assists. Mikko Pedersen held off the scoreboard. So he has a sleepless night. Uh, can't figure out what was going on with that uh, Alexi Vigno. He never seen him before. He's heard of him, but he's never seen him. And so he goes into the next game against the London Knights with uh, Alexi Vigno still in the back of his head. Uh, London is coming off a big win against St. John. I think it was 6-2 or something like that. And we're going to be using our uh, white jerseys. This is a must-win game. If they want to at least uh, get to the semifinals so they don't have to play three games in the knockout round. Miguel Pedersen 
looking forward to it and we'll let you guys take this intro I always find it weird you can kind of hear this booing in the background when uh, Shawinigan comes out they should kind of like make the Memorial Cup host be the uh, home team every game just to make it a little bit more realistic but anyways yeah we have the uh, Cataracts versus the Knights here once again centered by Anest start off three and we start off with a three nothing loss Patterson needs to come up big there zero points so far and to start off take a look at this Miguel Patterson contains the puck finds his defenseman gets the pass back snipes and that's his that's a goal for Mikel Patterson he would tie up the game 2-2 with 14 seconds left in the first and that would be his first goal first goal in the Memorial Cup scouts were saying they weren't liking how he played in the first game but well, take a look at that shot that's why he was uh, projected to be first overall in the draft last year and uh, he got cage he put offers from the KHL and take a look at this another uh, breakout speed nice uh, hands right there he able to completely fool the defenseman and after a serious shots maybe Sakaris that would put it away to make it four to three for showing and take the lead and that would be uh, Patterson with the assist and then with an empty net with a couple seconds left Patterson would pick up the loose puck and put it away to the empty net to get a second goal of the game and then make it 5-3 he finishes at the, as the first star so with a much better performance two goals one assist and finally we go against the St. John's Sea Ducks in the last game of the knockout round another must win game if we don't want to play an extra game all teams are 1-1 one one at this point and uh, Edmonton would actually win their third game against uh, London. And to start off, Miko Pedersen gets a good chance, and it would be Arsenal finding the back of the net. Basically, all Pedersen there, and the game would finish 3 1. The rest of the goals were uh, during the sim, so I don't really have anything else to show. But that's how that one would end. And we end up facing the London Knights in the uh, knockout round, who eliminates St. John. And to start off, look at that goal by Miko Pedersen. Beautiful move around the defenseman fools the goalie and that is why he's projected to be a top uh, prospect in this next year's draft we take a look at uh, insiders Bob McKenzie has Mikko Pedersen first and Vino second uh, Pierre Lebrun's got Vino first and Mikkelsen uh, and Pedersen second sorry and so yeah, another nice move, and he go end to end to tie the game with 3-3 in the third. It was 3-19 left, and Miko Pedersen was just full out there. Great breakout speed, great hands, and that is why he's projected to go first overall. And take a look at this, 3-3, and I have no idea how that went in. Devastation, the team's down 4-3, with 148 left, and they're on the power play. You'd think they put Pedersen out. But nope, Can't. Patterson was not on the power play unit, so we weren't able to make any ter terms of effect on that game. We're down 4-3. Can the team come back? No, they can't. It'd be London holding on for the win, 4-3, and they would advance to the final of the Memorial Cup. Patterson didn't really, uh, did all he can. He got a goal. Well, two goals actually that game. So he did what he could, but his team, I uh, just the skill level wasn't enough, wasn't there. The 91, 92, 93 line with uh, Arsenal, Sakaris, and Pedersen couldn't come up big, and that would be the difference maker in this Memorial Cup. So great, great feedback from the coaches. Uh, great Memorial Cup tournament for Pedersen. He can't complain. He it was kind of, you could kind of say the team fall. Look at that. In a losing effort, two goals, and he's the first star. And look at that. Edmonton defeats London to earn the Memorial Cup. So Alexi Vigneo is a champion. And uh, that kind of uh, might have hurt uh, Mikael Pedersen's draft hopes. Hopefully it didn't. We'll see in the next episode. But Alexi Vigneo is the was the name the MVP of the tournament and the top scorer so he's no joke and he is coming out with a full force so anyways hope you guys uh, enjoyed that Miko Pedersen video 
I know yeah, it was a quite a long video. I'm, the Memorial Cup is kind of hard to fit in because there's also sim goals and you don't know most of the players and that kind of stuff. But uh, I also kind of upload this. Uh, had to get the content and that kind of stuff. So it might not have been as good as the backstory since it was a little bit more rushed. But I promise you uh, the next episode should be a little bit better. And we'll start off with episode number three, which will have the draft. We'll see if uh, who goes first, Vigno or Pedersen. And to which teams it's Edmonton who has the first pick and Columbus who has the second. So uh, will Pedersen be playing in Edmonton or Columbus? We will find out in the next episode, which will be released on most likely Sunday. Anyways, uh, Let's Play Hut will be out tomorrow. Hopefully I can get enough games in with the double pucks and end up picking up a player there. So anyways, thanks for the uh, support so far. I know I'm uh, uploading this a little late. I've gotten barely any sleep the last couple days. So I might be sounding a little tired, but I just didn't want to leave you guys with no video. So I decided to release this one. Anyways, please leave a like. Please leave a comment. Please subscribe. And I hope you all have a great day. Peace. Follow me on Twitter for the latest updates on my videos.